What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, please get down there and consider subscribing. If you enjoy this content at any point during it, shoot this video a thumbs up. Today guys uh, is one of the biggest days in Ram trucks. I guess current current history or future regardless it is a huge day for the ram truck line it is the reveal of the fifth generation ram heavy duty trucks the reveal is in, is in just a couple hours and i've got hit up multiple times on instagram and everything so far as of right now it looks like i have one of the last manual transmission diesel pickup trucks on the road so obviously we'll know in a couple hours guys but this could be one of the last six speed manual cummins trucks there are now, based on the articles that are out and the pictures we've seen so far, uh, first of all, the truck looks absolutely beautiful. Beautiful truck. Uh, one of the best looking trucks, interior and exterior on the market now. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Ram guy. I'm saying that in general that it looks awesome. Ram did a awesome job designing this new truck. They also put some nuts behind it with a 400 horsepower motor and a thousand foot pounds of torque. That is incredible. The manual fact, the factory manual transmission will not hold that kind of power. Uh, six seven Cummins is here to stay. Uh, a couple updates, a couple t you know different tunes tune on it, uh, stuff like that. But a thousand foot pounds of torque that's incredible. And obviously, if the rumors are true and what we know so far, the manual transmission is officially dead. So guys, if you're new to the channel, here is my fourth gen. It's a 2017, uh, obviously Hills Green and a six speed, six speed manual. There will be no more two foot driving on the market. Clutch in. Truck isn't exactly cold. I drove it this morning already to the gym, but what you're looking at guys might be one of the last six speed manual trucks on the market which is so so upsetting this is probably one of the most fun trucks i've ever driven as my first six speed truck and i guess my last i can't buy a new six speed truck again i can't buy a new i can't buy a new six speed truck again it's not looking good guys but the truck the fifth gen truck is looking so good it, I can't I can't say enough awesome things about the new design of these trucks uh, so far if I was gonna order a fifth gen Ram I mean I again I would probably have to order you honestly would probably have to order a 68 uh, RFE which is up updated by the way to handle more power but it still probably can't handle bigger tires and it still probably can't handle any of that so this could start, start turning into expensive 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 builds coming into the future because you're gonna need to build trans and uh, all that and those are expensive but I probably order it in the 68 uh, not the Ison because you can't really tune the Ison and I would definitely order I don't know if they're gonna do low volume colors they might in the future but up front I doubt it but I would 100% order the uh, <laughs> the shit brown color because that color is gorgeous. Just this picture right here, this brown, oh, awesome. I know lots of you guys, like I said, lots of you guys have already messaged me, tagged me in the Insta comments post, all that stuff, sent me DMs. Uh, if you want me to know, yes, I am upset. However, with the power levels, that are at power and torque levels of these new trucks, there's not a chance that these new trucks with a manual transmission could even hold that with, you know, a dual mass flywheel. And I think that's what they came came down to. Um, and they didn't want to give it a single mass and a dual disc clutch because that's not, uh, you know, no one's gonna buy that and be like, dang, this feels good, this is an easy drive or any of that. They want the most comfortable drive they can and the average consumer wouldn't want, you know, a single mass flywheel and a dual disc clutch in their truck. Um, just if they were, you know, buying it to drive it, not do what I did is, you know, use it as part of a build. So guys, at the wash here, uh, about three in the afternoon, the new ramps have been revealed. Uh, we're gonna go in depth and talk about all of that in a second here, but like I said yesterday, uh, you know, it's snow, it got salt, I drove the truck in it, so uh, the truck needs to be washed, especially with it being one of the last six speeds uh, that will be. Uh, I definitely gotta keep her very, very clean, and you know, 
I guess salt free, rust free because it needs to last a long time. Like I said, I was just thinking like right now you look back and you're like all oh, the first gen, second gens that are, you know, five speeds, six speeds. And then, you know, in the future, knowing that I have one of the last six speeds, you know, looking back at back, it'd be like, oh, back at, literally back in my day, uh, you know, I bought one of the last six speed manual trucks. It will be an awesome feeling. So I just want to keep it clean. I'm going to wash it real quick. You guys see me wash my truck a million times. So I'm just going to cut to the chase I'm gonna do it and then uh, I'll show you guys the results and then we're gonna talk about all these fifth gen Rams and how kind of sweet they are but I'll give you about five reasons why I won't buy one and just like that we are clean she looks awesome everything under here washed down no more salt no more grime wheels clean oh yeah all right guys just got home and uh, after the truck has been revealed and all that now it is official I have one of the last ones no more manual trans no more g56 no you know non g56 different manual trans just it's gone forever so obviously you guys know the new fifth generation ram was released today um, obviously you go to ram trucks website here it is, all new 2019 heavy duty Ram. I'm gonna tell you right now that this truck looks beautiful. Beyond, beyond gorgeous of a truck. I love the look. However, I like the limited look. I like the limited headlights and the limited grill. The other grills and options, first of all, the all black, kind of blacked out truck, that looks sharp. I hate how the whole gr grill is pretty much chrome on the other versions, but see, I like the limited grill. Longhorn, the Longhorn grill is all right, and the Laramie grill is also, um, you know, stomachable. The Tradesman with the headlights and that grill, eh. Bighorn with the those headlights and that grill, grill's better. Headlights still bad. Uh, Power Wagon, uh, they literally the Power Wagon has the best looking headlights because they're, uh, you know, black. And uh, Ram knocked it out of the park, 100. percent Um, they pretty much have the best in class everything now everything i literally i'm looking at it right now on the screen factual information best in class diesel towing best in class gas towing best in class diesel torque gas horsepower diesel payload gas payload snow plow rating oil change interval and interior storage with the mega cab so anything someone is going to need a heavy duty truck diesel or gas for um, as you guys know i'm not a gas fan but um Diesel or gas, you have the best in class everything with the Ram trucks lineup. Uh, hot shot truckers, uh, car haulers, people like that. Dude, best in class towing. That's what you need a, you know, a heavy duty truck for. Um, uh, obviously people like me who are like hobbyists and like to build trucks, uh, that's not as big of a factor. However, people who use their truck daily and beat it and work it, um, best in class best in class towing payload um if you use it like landscaping but in the winter what do you do is throw a snow plow on it best in class snow plow rating um and you know people who work their trucks they work them man uh best in class oil change interval so ram is you know and cummins working together they have lowered your maintenance um not only schedule uh but costs and for the people who just you know have some money they want a nice truck uh the most luxurious interior in its class. Jeremy Longhorn, I believe, actual wood panels, 100% leather, not this half and half, you know, crap, but it's 100% leather. They have transferred that from the 1500. I can tell you the 1500 leather is incredible. But what I'm saying is Ram has everything best in class that is key to heavy duty trucks. Next thing up is the new 6.7 liter Cummins motor. Yes, there is a new 6.7 liter Cummins in this truck because of the higher horsepower and the higher uh, output in the torque category. Um, they had upgraded. I think there is a new block on this motor, a stronger block. I also am going to uh, be the bearer of band news here. They have a new fuel pump on here and the picture is going around the internet. People zoom in. It looks to be a CP4 pump and all the comments are like, I can see the CP3, 
I can see the CP3 swaps coming already. Uh, so people are not a fan of the CP4's fuel line system, a new fuel rail, a uh, new fuel filter setup, and new exhaust valves and springs. To go along with that, there's a new exhaust on this truck to make it even quieter, which yeah, who wants a quiet diesel? Nobody, but they make this tr they made this new Cummins even quieter with a new exhaust, new motor, new tuning, stuff like that, and uh, they knocked it out of the park with 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, they updated the frame, it's stronger. Uh, with an updated frame that may or may not be a new suspension. Uh, the Ram 1500s, yes, the lift kits changed because um, sway bars in the front moved from the front to the rear, and in the rear the coils got bigger and more spaced out. So uh, new suspensions, uh, new suspension lifts had to be designed. So with this, it could very well be a new suspension. I know that in the front there's new. Uh, uh, frequency selective dampening shocks. The whole truck in itself could be a complete redesign, uh, not only a facelift, but underneath. So we will see, you know, as they hit, you know, as they hit lots, I may run up to Detroit next week and take a look at it at the auto show. Uh, if I do go, obviously you guys will be coming along. So if you haven't been here before, get down and click subscribe because I'm going to be taking you guys up to Detroit if I can make it happen. And we'll be, you know, we'll be showing you this truck in person. But yeah, not only that, the uh, new towing, I believe, is 35,100 pounds, uh, best in class. That is a lot of weight. <clears throat> These new 3,500s uh, can pull, the 2,500s can pull, I think it's about 19,000 pounds. So, pretty much Ram redesigned the truck, made it stronger, made it more powerful, and made it pretty much best in class everything. Uh, the, the 12 inch screen is being transferred from the 1500s over, so the new 2500s will have the option to uh, get you a 12 inch uh, touch screen in it, which is incredible. If you've ever been to a 1500 with a big screen, it is beautiful. So there's that. Obviously you guys know the manual transmission is killed. So we now have a 68 RFE that is updated and an ISIN that is updated. Uh, I have no faith in that 68 RFE uh, updated version. It, it, they, it's got some new internals to handle the new power uh, of the 5th gen motors. Um, I still don't trust it. It's a 68 same platform. They might have upgraded the clutch packs and your overdrive gears. However, I'm still going to give you a big... <laughs> because I think the um, new 68 will still hate big tires as much as the old 68 did. Um, Ison would be a great option. Uh, I don't know if anyone, I, I don't know enough about the Ison to see if anyone's ever, blow, I'm pretty sure someone's blown one up before, but um, I don't know if they're a fan of big tires or not. However, that will only be in the 3500, which means you cannot get the coil rear suspension and an Ison transmission, which is probably what I would want. But you cannot do that because 3500s are going to offer uh, the leaf suspension. You will more than likely only be able to order an Ison and a 3500, just like the fourth gens. So the updated trans, I'm going to give it a big <clears throat> four because uh, still no faith in that 68. And if I, I mean, although tunable and buildable, um, still not a fan of it. Uh, I like my G56. I guess that's going to be the name of the game. Back to, you know, 48, uh, <laughs> 48 uh, REs and uh, rebuilding them. Like, trust me, been there, done that. We'll see down the few like down the road. Uh, color wise, you're looking at your normal white, black, gray. Uh, kind of looks like maybe, possibly a red, a uh, limited edition blue, which is hydro blue, coming in for the uh, power wagons. I believe power wagon only has the hydro blue option. Um, so colors are a big, eh, nothing special. Uh, they do have a awesome brown. If the stock photos hold over to you know the ordering system, they have an awesome brown. So if I was going to order a fifth gen, that is a color I would order. You know your usual, your usual white, brown. There's two tone options. So we'll see when the build, uh, you know the build and price feature becomes available. See what we can uh, conjure up. So overall, these new fifth gens are a beautiful truck. Beautiful truck. I, I, I they look awesome. 
they you know they have best in class everything they are the most powerful trucks out there on the market till you know chevy or ford will just one up them by like 10 horsepower and 10 foot pounds just like it always is but ram is the first one to hit quadruple digits in the foot pound category which is incredible ram and cummins guys that being said why i will not buy a fifth gen ram i will say yet is because um if i do buy a fifth gen ram it will probably be one full year from now uh, pretty much let the market settle in. Uh, they can figure out the new, the new motor, the new software, the new tune, you know, figure that out, write it. So then you can, you know, PPEI or someone will come in there and rewrite it. So it's, uh, you know, it's tunable, uh, flow pro or someone's got to redesign a new exhaust with a new frame, uh, stuff like that. If there's a new suspension, uh, zone BDS ready lift, uh, you know, whoever will have to come out and redesign the suspension for these trucks. So that's going to take months. And not only that, they have to redesign the suspension and then they have to put it in production and then they have to do testing and then they can release it to market. Just like the suspensions on the Silverados and the new Ram 1500s took forever to come out because, you know, it's a new body style. Everyone's kind of, not only that, they got to, they got to take it bring it in their computer, design it, then put it into production, then test it, and then mass make it, and then they can bring it to market. So uh, it'll be a while before you, if the suspension indeed is changed, it'll be a while before you see, um, it'll be a while before you do see modified fifth gens, yeah, and I guess in the lifted category, leveling kits will probably come out rather quick. Um, I wouldn't doubt if you can fit a 35 on this thing. Stock, new trucks just get bigger. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to assume you can shove a 35 on their stock transmission. Obviously, like I said, probably will not like it. Uh, four inch, six inch lifts. My uh, guesses are going to be on a six inch lift. You may be able to squeeze a 40 inch tire on a um, you know standard offset. A six inch lift would be able to fit a 38 with a normal offset. Four inch lift. Um, uh, 37's normal offset, 35's wide offset, you know how that goes. But as new trucks happen, you, you, you can just, they just get bigger, wheel wells get bigger, and stuff like that. I wouldn't doubt if a 6 inch lift on this truck is about an 8 inch lift on my truck. We'll see as these things hit the lot. Um, after all though guys, um, like I said, beautiful, beautiful truck, beautiful options, interiors absolutely gorgeous with all the, the new leathers and all the features, the touch screen. Uh, it's kind of a shame that the G56 is gone, but you know, like I said, it's not really because you can't, because you can't, because you can't option one. It's not gonna tell me like I can't buy this truck. Uh, like I said, if the manual is an option, I would buy buy a manual, but the manual is not an option, so I would not be able to buy one. So, But it's not gonna stop me from buying a truck. Um, however, I will not buy one for probably a year because of, you know, a year from now, you'll be buying 19 in 20 and you'll be getting rebates, just like my truck, like I said, uh, 10 to 12 off MSRP, I would assume, just right in the first half of 2020. There's no purpose in going out there, spending your money now. Uh, let the market, let companies buy them, test them, tune them, build them, do all that stuff. And then, you know, six months from now when there might be some sort of rebate or, you know, you've seen how the market handles this, what products are available, what can be done, the power uh, of these new trucks, yeah, if you're going to modify them. Um, wait till then so you're not making an expensive investment and, you know, throwing 37s on this and blowing that new 68 right up because um, who knows what will happen. These new trucks are beautiful. If I and Honestly, the, the limited grill uh, looks awesome. These trucks, they did a great job and obviously best in class everything uh, that is pretty much ne necessary for a heavy duty truck. <clears throat> My opinion is Ram knocked it out of the park, not because I'm a Ram fan or a Ram driver. I'm just saying that Ram, um, there's more reasons to me liking Ram than just the Cummins motor. Um, however, like I said, uh, they got rid of probably the best the best transmission in my opinion, and it's not best because of, um, you know, whatever, but it's the easiest buildable, like with my South Bend clutch in my truck, the transmission is pretty much good for almost anything that gets thrown at it until you start throwing major ponies, then you'll uh, explode some gears, but I don't think I'm going that high in horsepower. We'll see if low volume colors come out because the standard colors are kind of eh. I would buy the brown. I'll give it a good solid 9 out of 10 on the 5th gen Ram. Looks awesome. A lot of power. And um, 
awesome interiors, a lot of options for you. So um, I'm gonna say it's an awesome truck. If you're looking for, if you're in the market and you're trying to buy a new truck, like now, uh, obviously pick one of these up. You you will not be disappointed. If you're looking to modify a truck, I would hold off. These trucks are made to handle as much as it can stock, but as soon as we start getting outside of those values, uh, I believe the truck will um, get very upset. That's my take on it, guys. Ram did an awesome job, and um, I can't wait to see uh, the new things and the new products that get developed for this truck, uh, the modifications, stuff like that. So we'll be seeing a lot of these obviously heading into um, maybe SEMA time. You'll be getting them in <laughs> April or May. So it leaves you June, July, August, three months for a SEMA build. We'll see what people pull together. So um, I wanna say thank you guys for watching. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Like I said, that package the other day that I wanted, uh, it's right here, so that will be tomorrow's video if one thing that else I ordered doesn't show up prior to this. So, mods coming soon. Daytona Bill is about to be in full force on my uh, fourth gen G56. So, if you guys haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe, hit like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time.